let's move on uh, let's discuss uh, what's happening with kalpatru projects and we've got the management waiting by it's a sizable order book that they're sitting on let's try and understand what really is the order visibility going forward amit uplenchwar uh, the director strategy business group at kalpatru projects joins us on the show right now amit hi morning good to have you on the show uh, help us understand what is the order uh, you know pace looking like right now what is your order book currently and what is the visibility that you have say for the full financial year hi uh, good to be here good morning to everyone uh, so order book you know for the first uh, quarter was a little slow and uh, naturally so because elections were there and there were a lot of uh, code of conducts going on in various states etc etc however that activity seems to be picking up in august so far as we are concerned we are quite lucky that we are sitting at you know 63000 crores of order books including l1 and uh, you know so the market looks buoyant for us uh, our interactions with various state and central governments uh, depict that you know there is enough order pipeline there you would have seen the finance minister talk about 11 lakh crores again this year for capex spending so i think to answer your question the uh, visibility looks very good across all segments uh, that we operate in both in india and overseas amit i want to talk to you about a slightly broader point uh, just looking at your numbers between 22 and 24 uh, your order book your revenue actually has grown from almost 15000 crore to 20000 crore that's a sharp uh, 25% plus kind of a improvement are you confident now that you are uh from these levels also 25 30% kind of revenue growth visibility the way orders are flowing in and the you are uh, l1 to a large uh, sized order do you have that visibility so i think 20% uh, visibility is there uh, looking at the orders that we have in hand you also have to uh, look at our order book profile right over the last uh, two years as we merged and the quality of our order book has transformed from being uh, you know to a larger epc kind of uh, project mix which gives uh, uh, you know engineering in the first phase so you your order uh, revenue tends to come towards the 75% later part of the project and that mix gives us confidence that yes 20% for the next uh, year and the year after looks like a good target to keep in spite of a uh, you know phenomenal growth over the last 5 years as you mentioned so is is that that mix actually going towards higher value value chain also giving you better uh, margin profile as well and you can go back to the historical levels of 12% or thereabout so you know definitely this gives us an opportunity to do you know engineering optimization etc hence uh, bumping up our uh, profile of our uh, margin book we've mentioned this year that we will go between 4 and a half to 5% at a pvt level and hopefully we can continue that and only grow in the next year as our uh, you know these uh, newer kind of orders are at better margins and give us the ability to do engineering optimization on these projects right so if you could just help us with the range what kind of ebitda margins are you targeting going forward and is there scope then to go back to the historical levels of you know 12% from the current 9% that you're clocking So, if you see our uh, historic twelve percent, you're talking about an era where you know there was only KPTL, and KPTL was uh, in kind of businesses, whether it was TND or it was uh, railways or oil and gas, was typically a low capex business. However, now with this merger of erstwhile JMC and KPIL, we have uh, you know projects that need, for example, urban infra, which requires large tunneling machines called TBMs. and other building uh, projects which require capex so when you look at uh, us now i think it would be a more uh, you know appropriate to compare us at a pvt level because the capex mix is very different now although i think uh, you should expect a 9% upwards of a ebitda margin also at a, a, a you know a joint or a merged uh, entity basis Amit, uh, what are your uh, what is the progress as far as the potential sale or divestment of Vindhyachal Express Expressway is concerned? What stage is it in yet? Can you share some details? See, we had mentioned that we are speaking to a few people, and now we are in advanced stages. I had guided, uh, you know, at the end of Q1 that we should be looking at definitive agreements, hopefully getting signed at the end of Q2 or beginning of Q3, 
and we are working very hard uh, you know towards that target uh, you know to hopefully achieve that as we guide it so that's some that's progress i would say uh, so can you share with us uh, what will be the proceeds of this transaction be utilized into an any ballpark valuation where you are comfortable uh, striking the oh. deal at? or too early so you know we are still as you know it's it's still in final stages the construct of the you know the deal is in its final stages and as and when we uh, do conclude that we will come out to the market uh, you know in line with uh, disclosure norms but at this moment it will be difficult for me to you know tell you what kind of uh, you know valuation or what kind of levels are we looking at but it's not that far so hopefully if we can conclude by the end of q q2 beginning of q3 Uh, you know, we'll be able to tell you what those numbers are uh, far more clearly. And uh, could you also give us a color then, Amit, on what's happening with the international market? How are demand uh, uh, for orders actually looking in there? So the international market for us is also, if you looked at our, uh, you know, disclosure and the Q1 presentation that we gave for investors, you know, Europe, uh, where we have, we are a large player in the transmission space in Sweden and the, the neighboring countries. is seeing a huge resurgence in terms of tnd market uh, brazil our subsidiary is having a, a very large opportunity set in front of us where we are poised to capture that uh, growth momentum you know building and factories we are building airports overseas and that market looks good as many new uh, airports are getting announced around the world our uh, oil and gas you know with our significant entry in uh, saudi aramco and many more projects coming in the pipeline uh, looks like a very interesting opportunity as well uh, so you know overall i think several of our segments have a lot of uh, blue space when it comes to projects a lot of uh, opportunities already announced and hopefully we get a, a piece of that pie uh, going forward okay amit great to have you on the show thank you so much for taking the time out and uh, speaking with us today thank you so much for having me thank you Okay, that's the word coming in from Kalpatru Projects. Uh, that stock just mildly lower as we speak right now, but the one which has been on a tear of 